Harriet Abrams here, nutrigenomics dietitian and nutrition business consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about how to become a nutrigenomics dietitian. I get asked this question all the time, so I thought I'd cover it in a video just to clarify some, some, some issues. So, as I explained in my last video, this emerging field of nutritional genomics is developing really rapidly and some practitioners have incorporated it into their practice. It's definitely not mainstream yet. However, some have incorporated in terms of a functional approach. Um, I, for one, have incorporated more in terms of an industry consulting kind of a role. So, really, the opportunities are quite wide um, and how you're going to use the science or integrate the science into your practice. So what do you need to call yourself a nutrigenomics dietitian? Well, first of all, it's handy if you are a dietitian. Um, I, I would really recommend that you have some clinical practice or some clinical background, whether it's community or hospital, because really the science uh, is not used independently, it's used as a tool as part of developing a personalized nutrition plan for your client or your patient. So having some kind of work experience is, is I find is really quite handy or I would recommend. You don't need decades of experience, but some experience would be handy. So there are also some courses you can take. First of all, the undergrad courses, some universities offer undergrad courses or nutritional genomics modules already. Some are compulsory, others are not compulsory. But if this uh, is a field that you've heard about or something that you are interested in, I would strongly recommend if it's not compulsory that you take the, uh, the optional modules um, in the field, which will give you a good um, grounding on, on what the science is about. In terms of the modules, personally, I would recommend that these modules are delivered by a dietitian who's integrated the science um, into their practice because they really can um, separate the what is nice to know from what you really have to know in terms of bringing the topic to life. Then in terms of postgraduate courses, um, that would be master's level courses are offered by, for example, Tufts University or St Stellenbosch University in South Africa. Um, and uh, then there are short courses, which could be anything from three days long to five days long, are offered by the International Society of Nutrigenomics and Nutrigenetics. Um, all the links will be down at the, at the bottom in the description box. Uh, also, short courses are offered by the European nutrigenomics organization. Um, they usually happen just before the annual conference and they're about three to five days long as well. Then there are online courses that you can take. Some are credited, some are not, and they can range anything between three to six months that uh, is completely self-study. Um, and they are offered by Monash University in Australia, um, also by uh, another dietitians or group of dietitians, a uh, new model or called new translational nutrigenomics, uh, which you can also take. And then um, I've also developed a, a short course, which is 90 minutes long, which is really for uh, nutrition and healthcare practitioners who have no uh, genetics or genomics background. Um, you can plug in, it's an instant download, you can listen to it and it gives you a basic overview of what genetics uh, and genomics uh, is involved, how this applies to nutrition, how this applies to nutrition practitioners, what resources there are in the field as well. So um, you can just follow the links below. Um, as I said, it's an introductory course. So if you have no idea about what the field is about, then it's a good um, teaser for you. Um, so if this clarified the question for you, uh, then I'm really, really happy. If you still have questions or any comments on this video, please leave your comments down below. Uh, you can also like and subscribe my channel, please, please, please. Uh, and please visit my website and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.